Now, the Europe Day Kenya Football Tournament 2024 is currently going on across different counties in Kenya. Marsabit was the first uh, county to have to be honored to actually host uh, the inaugural uh, event of this football competition for teenagers, boys and girls. Uh, it has never happened uh, in Marsabit uh, County and for this very first time, of course, we're very honored as a media and a TV 47 and Ready 47 to be the media partners of this particular tournament. And I was very excited to see the boys and girls in Marsa Beat play football. And I was very happy also was told that we had scouts who were watching this tournament. We also had the county government that was fully involved in this particular event. And a lot of eyeballs were watching this tournament in Marsa Beat. Now, is this one of the many counties we'll be hosting? Uh, there'll be Homabe coming up. Then there'll be Kilifi coming up. Then the big one, the finale, grand finale will be happening in the capital Nairobi on the 17th of May at Ulinzi Sports Complex. However, this particular day, we are honored, uh, of course, to have uh, two gentlemen who are uh, part of this particular tournament, uh, specifically the Europe Day Kenya Football Tournament. And uh, we are honored to have the Deputy Ambassador of the European Union delegation to Kenya, His Excellency, Andre Schimmer. I got that right. Very good, very good, yes. <laughs> thank you very much. Not an easy name to pronounce. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for teaching me to pronounce it. Welcome very much to TV47. We also have the sports director, Marsibit County uh, Sports Director and Youth Development, uh, Honorable Daoud Iman. It's a pleasure. Welcome. It's good here. to have you in, uh, in TV47. Welcome so much to Cap Media. And uh, let me just get into it. Uh, Your Excellency, what are some of the positives that you picked up from uh, the Marsabit uh, leg of the Europe Day Kenya Football Tournament? Yes. Well, some of the positives, I would say everything was positive. <laughs> yes. So it was really an excellent <laughs> yeah. uh, start, yeah. very good uh, experience. Yes. Uh, I think that the first one for me really was the motivation of the young people that we were working with, both boys and girls. Teams incredibly motivated. I mean, you could see it, the energy, they were practicing a little bit before the games, you know, and the excitement on the pitch and off the pitch as well, and the determination for me was really, um, it was a great experience. And I think it's, it also offers a lot of hope uh, for that region, for that county, uh, that you have young, motivated people. Kenya's very young. I mean, you have lots of young population. Uh, there are lots of challenges, of course, in the county, and it's, it's good to have that, that level of motivation among the young people. So I think that that was the first one. The second one, I think, was really the partnership with the county. county. Very important. You know, we uh, are representing the European Union here in Kenya, so for us, the natural partner is national government. Uh, but we are, of course, very committed to reach out to the counties and to work with the administration, to work with businesses, to work with civil society and with young people. And we had a very strong uh, partnership with the county government. Yes. And I really want sure. to thank you for that. Uh, okay. And I look forward to the continuation of this, not just around football, but also yeah. around development programs and uh, other things. Sure. I think the third one, and perhaps the most important one for me was, um, um, you know, Marasabit is a big county, very large. I mean, you know this better than I do. And it's got many different tribal groups. And uh, so what I thought was that, you know, this, this small tournament, these eight boys teams and eight girls teams came from many different parts. And so they were also from different groups and they met and they competed on the ground. Uh, we always say that sport is very important for interpersonal relations, uh, relations between different groups, um, where you can settle your differences on the sports pitch, not in any other way. So for us, it's a very peaceful way of actually stimulating cohabitation and peace and development. Um, and so I think that that was, that was also for me very important, Marsabit. Yeah, that was big, uh, Your Excellency. Uh, and also, uh, Honorable Daoud, uh, it was the first time you two were meeting. Yeah, sure. And uh, Andre uh, Shimek, Mr. Mish Shimek, Excellency, say that uh, he's very good in football. I hope you gave him a football to juggle a bit. How was it? And how are you going to maintain this kind of relationship uh, that uh, the European Union delegation 
he is actually bringing to, to the grassroots that is in Marsabit. Something, of course, has not been seen before. Yeah, first of all, I want to thank the European Union for choosing Marsabit County as uh, one of the places where they were, uh, they were doing the European Day Tournament. Yes. Because it's far away. <laughs> not so many people can remember Marsabit in such a good thing. And uh, it, the tournament was very timely because it is a period where we stayed without doing any tournaments as, a, as an area. So our boys and girls were very excited yes, that, that uh, this was happening there. Yes. And uh, I think uh, the ambassador saw it on their faces. Well, they were given uh, uniforms, yes. all the teams that were participating, balls were provided. Yes. And the age that they were targeting was a good one because we as a county were targeting more of a youth, youth gap kind of uh, age. And then they were targeting 15 to uh, 17 years. This gave us a very good opportunity to look, to look at the talents for the young ones. Indeed. Uh, on the issue of how good is he in <laughs> football. <laughs> he kicked the ball in the opening, so I didn't see much of him play, playing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a challenge to you, uh, Your Excellency Shimek. You, uh, they need to see you more playing football. I must say that when I did the kickoff, I actually scored the goal. You, you scored the goal, so, right? From right. half of the pitch. From half of the so, pitch. Well, that already shows something. Was there a goalie on the, on the, beneath, the, beneath the post? No, there was no goalie, but <laughs> just <laughs> getting it into the goal, I think it's already <laughs> a challenge from half pitch. Yeah, yeah. sure. Indeed. And Your Excellency, um, uh, how, uh, of course, now that you've been welcome in Mars a bit, uh, there are those 16 teams, the eight boys and eight girls, 15 to 17 years old. What next for them? Because uh, uh, during one of the interviews uh, after the one, uh, during the tournament in Marsabit on the 23rd and 24th of March, you say that at least um, going forward, you're looking at facilitating some of them at least to have exposure beyond Marsabit. Yes, for sure. I mean, I think that there are different opportunities, obviously, not just for these teams, but also for other young people that are interested in football in Marsabit. So number one, I think we did this tournament. I think it proves the concept. I mean, doing a tournament among the different schools of Marsabit is really not so complicated to organize. So that is something that perhaps should be established as we go forward. And it's very common in Europe that you play among the different schools. And I think that that would be something that would be very good uh, to maintain. Uh, that's something that's nurturing the talent of these young people. So that's number one. I think number two, uh, with the, the players specifically there, the project that we are doing, this tournament, is implemented by Akakoro Football Academy. Yeah. So this is a football academy which operates here in, in, uh, in Kenya yeah. and which is constantly looking for new talent. And so, of course, as part of this project, this was one of the objectives, that they are also looking at the, at the kids that are playing, and I hope that some of them will make it into the football academy and eventually maybe in some of the teams here or maybe in Europe. Now, uh, for the follow-up, I think uh, the best teams that will be coming to Nairobi, we are looking at some possibilities of linking them with the Europe yeah. uh, and uh, perhaps offering an opportunity of a, uh, of a short stay, uh, sort of a small football academy or something like that. It's not completely finalized. So we are still looking at that. Uh, there is, of course, always a question of resources, <laughs> but, uh, but we are working on that. So I, I hope that will work out and we'll be able to get a, uh, go ahead with that one. Indeed. And uh, Daoud, yes. um, I'm sure, of course, football has always been in Marsabit. They play yeah. football by such kind of a platform that the European Union delegation to Kenya provides to your players. Um, it's something that needs to continue. I'm sure right now they're looking back and saying, OK, now, our two teams are in the, uh, of course, have gone to the 17th March uh, Grand Finale at in, in Nairobi. Uh, how are you going to maintain? Uh, uh, what structures does Masabit have to ensure that as much as the European Union delegation in Kenya brings the tournament, then what do we do? What, what the kind of follow-up yeah. as a county? Because I'm, I'm sure you already do all those kind of yeah, yeah. follow-ups and structures that you have in yeah, Masabit. Sure. Now that we have them with this tournament, and uh, in a way that so that uh, His Excellency Shimek will come back next year in March. Thank you. So, like uh, in Marsebe County, you know, Marsebe is a very large county by size, and uh, we engaged guys only on the mountain mostly because uh, it's the largest county. You can uh, equate it to maybe uh, Nyanza and Western Province combined as a Marsebe County. So, the challenge is big, you know, but uh, with what we have now, and uh, when we're doing the tournament, there were scouts even from our side and yes. from the side. Yeah. 
and this, uh, even the teams that have, been, have not won, we have players, the names that we have taken from these teams. You know, in sports, it's about uh, identifying, nurturing, and then linking. So at least identification stage is there now. Mm, yeah. So the next step now is uh, the nurturing. And we have collected all these names that uh, during the tournament that we saw the good players, and we'll continue keeping them in the camp. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and uh, uh, Your Excellency, um, the, uh, the community was out. The community came out in droves. I could actually see from the images uh, we shared, uh, they had come out in large numbers to, you know, to cheer on their teams. Um, how important are these communities, of course, in football and other engagements that you have in Martha Beat and across the country? Uh, I mean, it's crucial because I think everything that we try to do here in, in Kenya is supposed to have direct impact for the population. Uh, I, I have been in this country only for six months, so it's a bit difficult to have a you know, full picture of things. But my impression was that Marsabit has been, uh, until quite recently actually, quite isolated in a way. And of course, uh, then that means that also the opportunities for people have been perhaps a little bit less than in, than in other places. So for us, I think uh, it's, it's very important to work in these type of places and you know, to put, uh, to put uh, a little bit of an extra effort there to create opportunities. Uh, and I think what we follow there is kind of what, what my colleague actually said in a way, I think to connect people is number one, then to empower and to try to create some opportunities. And so I see that, that this particular project is part of that, that philosophy. Well, well done. Um, and of course, Dawood, um, there are success stories, of course, from Marshall Beach in yeah. terms of football yeah. uh, or any other sport, because I'm sure uh, the European Union delegation uh, to Kenya will in the future perhaps go to volleyball or future perhaps do athletics. Yeah. I'm just throwing uh, something to you, uh, Your Excellency, or maybe do uh, a sport. I'll take it back with me. <laughs> <laughs> Any other sport. Uh, but I'm sure you have success stories. Uh, you've said, of course, you've noted those ones who were outstanding during the first uh, inaugural event uh, on the 23rd of March. Um, so some of these stories, who are they? Uh, do you know them very well? And then, of course, how are we going to really now ensure that that momentum keeps going? The success stories. Uh, the success stories from Marsabit. Marsabit County is a unique county on its own, but when given an opportunity, we shine. Last time there was a Talanta Hela uh, tournament that were going on. And I want to also like, uh, commend what uh, the Minister of Sports is doing now, because they are so much into their roots. Eh? Uh, in Talanta Hela, we emerged as uh, the top in, uh, in this area where we are competing against uh, like five counties. Samburu, Meru, Darakanidi, and Isiolo. We emerged and we came to Nairobi to represent that area. Uh, in terms of sport for ladies, this was inspiring most. You know, our taboos as uh, Kushaitic Islamic communities and all this somehow limits the girl child to participate in football. But when they play, they do it the best. I can tell you we have two, two girls or three, three girls who are now on full scholarship at Zetek University playing in, in the league now. Mm. just because of football wow. and they are from humble background wow. that is a success story that I can I can take I can say and of course and, and, and your excellence you've heard of course these are the stories I'm sure you'll be happy to take back uh, to the office and say yes we are doing this not only for just playing football but stories that you want uh, the exposure of those boys and girls to not mm. only be in Kenya but also to explore them in uh, in Czech Republic in Poland in Germany in France? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean, these are exactly those type of things that we are looking for. I think the making the difference in the lives of individuals that perhaps have a limited number of opportunities. And so I'm really happy that uh, we're making our small contribution. Sure, this. sure. <laughs> and um, some of the challenges that you've encountered, uh, Dawood, in, uh, in, in Marsabit, uh, in, in terms of how you nurture, how you grow football, what are these challenges? And how have you overcome them? And is the European Union trying to assist you overcome some of those challenges that you faced in the past in terms of football, um, boys and girls? Sure. What I can say is, uh, mm, you know, right now, talent pays. If you look at the world today, soccer is the best paying job. Indeed. And you know, yeah. not everyone will get the white collar job. True. True. And uh, given the opportunities to these young men and uh, the girls, mm -hmm. they can make it. They can make it through, this, uh, through their talents if they are really helped and facilitated properly. 
And through this such kind of initiative, people get to know that today there's an opportunity through this. They know today if they play this, uh, the game and make it to Nairobi, and they might be identified to go to Europe and see the dream that they've been watching on TV. Most of our young men and women are football fans. They watch it on TV, the European teams. But if they make it to go to Europe to watch these games, you know, it will inspire them more. I think you listen to the young lady who was saying, I don't want to play only here. I want to explore more. And that's inspiring. So we really hope that uh, with the support of European Union on this, they might help us even get some leagues where we can play for some months. Sometimes back we had a football league through FKF for six months, which, you know, soccer engages so many people. And it's a tool that you can use to pass so many information across even the problem that society faces. If you want to do an FGM campaign, it's, you can use soccer as a tool that you can pass. For peace, it's a, it's a tool that can be used for, uh, for integration among the communities because we don't register football clubs depending on a tribe or what clan, something like that. You must be mixed. That's our condition. Indeed. And these are the things that we need to encourage for progress. That's true. Um, Your Excellency, uh, football is uh, one of the many. Of course, you said you'll pick up from this just in case you must have been want to play maybe a hockey or basketball next year. Right. Why football at this time? And uh, of course, share with us some of the other projects that you not only uh, do in, uh, in this in Marsabit and those other areas in the, in the regions. Yes, thank you very much, Tony. I mean, we are, why football? <laughs> football is popular, I think, uh, particularly here in, in, in Kenya. But we also, we organize this tournament during a year where, uh, when we have uh, two quite big events now in Europe. One is uh, the Euro 2024, the European Championship, um, which is all about football, uh, and where the Czech Republic will be also represented, by the way, so I look <laughs> forward to that. I mean, they have a tough group, but uh, yeah, um, let's see. Uh, and then, uh, of course, we have also the Olympics. Yes. And that's another uh, opportunity, uh, you know, for, for countries to be represented uh, through football. Yes. And so uh, we decided uh, we're organizing uh, this tournament, you know, during this period, but we are also linking it to the, to the celebration of the Europe Day, which is kind of the official, uh, official national day for the European Union. Uh, and, um, you know, what I said to the young people in Marsabit uh, at the opening was, uh, I'm sure just like young people in Europe, you will be following the matches of True. the Euro 2024 and you will be probably following the football uh, during the Olympics. And, you know, maybe one day, if not you, then maybe your younger brother or your younger sister may represent Kenya during the Olympics at the football. If that's your dream... I mean, that's what you need to do. And we are just trying to somehow help a little bit. I mean, we cannot replace, obviously, the teams or the coaches, but we can help a little bit with some kind of an organization. So I hope, uh, I hope some of the kids are dreaming that. And I hope a few years down the road, I will see them uh, at the next Olympics. And Hela that just came up, we make sure we participate because it's the only way they, we can expose them and for them to be seen by scouts outside the county. Uh, we are now expecting to participate in inter-county games in April this year. We are still participating for, and they have the age, age cup for boys and girls who will participate. It will be in Kilifi. Yes. We are still traveling all the way from Marsabit to Kilifi just for people to identify and nurture these talents. Uh, on the other side, in the Ministry of uh, Sports, they're coming up with uh, an academy in Moyale, which is uh, a town just next to Marsabit, uh, Marsabit town eh? in Marsabit County. The Talent Academy will also be equipped. It will be a very good opportunity for us now to do camping for the talents that we identify so that it's easy for us now to camp them together and they have a facility where they can use and train during the holidays. So all these just gear up on seeing if we can get few, if not all, to, take, to further their talents and link them to other other sporting uh, uh, academies yes. in Nairobi or such. Indeed. Uh, of course, as you wind up, uh, Your Excellency, uh, you're moving, of course, from Marsabit, you're going to Kilif, uh, Homer Bay, Kilifi, mm. then coming back to Nairobi. And this, of course, in the celebration of the Europe Day that you have every 9th exactly. of May yeah. every year uh, from the 27 member states uh, that are under European Union. And also, the, but however, you're celebrating it on the 17th of May in the country 
um, these boys and girls are watching, uh, the ones in Marsabit are watching, and they are looking and saying, fine, yes, uh, what, uh, so what, are we go what is in, in it for us? Yes, we've gone in the jerseys, fine. We have nice jerseys, we have nice socks, we have nice... Uh, Akakoro training and academies and all that. However, they will want, uh, they will still be looking up to the European Union delegation to Kenya uh, next year, mm. in 2025, in 2026, in 2027. Yes, thank you. I get your message, Tony. <laughs> I, <laughs> I understand the message. No, I must be very honest with you. So, I mean, this is our first effort yeah. here. So we are doing this. I appreciate and I think that. We, yeah. we're trying to in a way, put our toe into the water and see, you know, how, how warm or cold it is. I think so far the, uh, the experience has been very positive. And uh, so when we finish the tournament, you, you mentioned that we have Homa Bay now coming up uh, this coming weekend, and I hope that also your viewers uh, will follow that. I think it's very exciting. And then we have Kilifi uh, at the beginning of May, and then uh, the second weekend of May is Nairobi, and then after that we have actually the finals. So it will be sort of four counties and then we have the finals. So after we have implemented it, I think we need to sit down and then uh, get all the different lessons from that. But I think we are extremely committed to uh, using this type of avenue for public diplomacy and for also creating links between Kenya and EU, not only through businesses or through political relations, but also through people to people contacts, be it students coming to study to Europe, different subjects, or being young people eventually coming to play, play in Europe. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Deputy Ambassador uh, to the European Union delegation uh, to Kenya, that is His Excellency Andre Schimmer. And also alongside him is uh, the Sports Director, Marsabit County, Honorable Daoud Iman. Um, I hope we can be able to uh, to bring some of the teams to our studio uh, next time after the finale. I hope we can have uh, the master bit. Sure, they'll, they'll, sure, want, sure. they'll want to hear it from you that you'll facilitate that they come to TV 47. No problem. When they come to Nairobi, we'll, we'll visit the, this place. <laughs> Thank you so much, yeah. gentlemen, for really making time. This, of course, are uh, the two representing, uh, remember the first round, the inaugural uh, Europe Day Kenya football tournament that's happening for the very first time in Kenya and it started, kicked off in Marsabit County on the 23rd and 24th of March uh, this year. Uh, now headed to Homa Bay, then to Kilifi, and then of course uh, the grand big finale where every, the, the biggest dignitaries uh, from Europe, from Kenya, from East Africa and across the globe will, have, will converge at the Ulinzi Sports Complex, of course, to witness the best talent that has been, of course, fished across the different counties. Uh, thank you so much for making time, uh, Mr. Shimer, as well as, of course, Dawood. And entire, of course, the entire team that is supporting this tournament, we thank you. From us here, thank you for watching and bye.